you ever been hunting with your buddies in the duck blind and when the flock of ducks come in, everybody throws their gun up, they shoot three shots, and no ducks have fallen? I'm gonna tell you how to fix that. When you're hunting, you're never gonna see the same presentation twice. So it's important to be able to learn how to read what your target's doing very quickly so you know exactly how to react. We're gonna work on our mechanics, but we're also gonna work on being slow and calm and not panicking when all those ducks come in. By doing this, you're gonna have a more accurate shot and you're gonna have a lot more ducks hit the water. Today we're practicing two different shots that you may see while you're duck hunting. We have a crosser and we have an incomer. Pull. Dang, stupid ducks. Now what you'll notice there is I was really erratic. I was fast to mount, I was fast to shoot. I never really got a clear picture of what the target was doing. It's not a very consistent way to shoot. I can guarantee you my percentage is gonna go up if I slow down and take my time with the shot and really focus on one target at a time. Pull. That time, if you'll notice, I took my time getting into the gun. I made a connection with the target one at a time. My shot was a lot more deliberate and I had a lot more control of what I wanted to happen out there. One of the first things you learn in shotgun shooting is to take one target at a time. The same rule applies when you're waterfowl hunting. Pick one duck out, try to see the detail, see the ring around his neck, see his green head or whatever the duck is that you're hunting. Try to pick out a certain detail on that duck, focus on it and make that good move. If you hit him, then go to your second duck. So let's say you're in a scenario where you're sitting down, you're calling in the ducks, here they come, now we're about to jump up and shoot them. But what a lot of people wanna do is spring off of their seat, put the gun in their shoulder real quick and fire off some shots. We're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our time just like we did in the standing position, except now we're adding a little bit of movement to it. Keep the same controlled aspect that you had while you're standing from your sitting position up. Pull. All I did there was I took my time, I kept my eyes on the target. As I stood up, I made sure I had the gun mounted good, made a good connection, eyes on the target all the way through the shot. Once I hit my first one, then I moved to my second one. 